So right now we have a situation where Oscar De La Hoya has came out and basically um, I've told people a long time ago, I've been reporting all these stories. I'm not going to yell and scream about them. I'm just going to report it the way Oscar De La Hoya is reporting everything. He said that Canelo Alvarez uh, is basically running away from David Benavidez allegedly and doesn't want to get in the ring with him. He's basically saying that Oscar is stealing money and everything else, but he's the same guy who's lining his pockets. I have a video coming up uh, where I will be playing this, and it'll explain everything. Canelo, I just saw another video where you're still talking shit. All you say is, fuck him, fuck that. Oh, he stole from me. Well, obviously, aside from defaming me, why don't you look inside your own circle? Because I know for a fact that people are stealing from you. Um, by the way, you lined my pockets. You made Mungia a shitload of money. All because you're afraid of David Benavides. Fuck you. Mm. Now I've been saying that he made Oscar money. And Oscar just said, if you don't like me as much as you say you do, why would you put a whole bunch of money in me and Mungia's pockets? You just made me and Mungia a whole bunch of bread. You just made her super rich, even more rich than we were before. And he's like, how would you say I'm stealing money? You just you just gave me more money. You're doing business with me. He's like, bro, you're obviously running away from Benavidez and... Basically, I just use you running from away from being being a Vita. This is what Oscar was saying. I just use you running away from being a Vita to make me more money. So it's not it's no reason why you should be running around talking about I'm doing bad business, and you just basically pushed everything to the side to kind of get, get in the uh, ring with one of my fighters again. He said, "Bro, you just gotta you just made me a whole bunch of money, man." Quit acting like a, it's a situation. Go ahead and fight Benavidez. You say you're the guy. You tr you've been talking all these years about how guys want paydays. And that's that's the thing about it. Like, And people don't want to. That's why I say I have to keep it consistent with everything. We have fans out here right now that think that Canelo Alvarez should be criticized, but fighters like Tank Davis should or we have fighters that think that uh, Benavidez should be criticized, but not Canelo Alvarez. Or we have people that think that certain fighters are off limits. Everybody can be criticized. Everybody will be criticized. When you're sitting around here taking certain fights and the fans know that you're not taking the toughest fights, like people not even begging Canelo to fight anybody no more. Like, bro, boxing moves on, man. Like, I don't know if people know it, boxing moves on. They don't care about none of that stuff. I told people six months ago, Mexico was thinking about replacing him with uh, Esau Cruz. And the reason why, Esau Cruz, 25 years old. They don't have time for that. We just seen uh, Raya, who was possibly going to fight against um, Edward Del Santos until that changed. He's going to fight Pitbull Cruz now. But Mexico is looking at those two guys as the next stars. After Pitbull Cruz beat uh, Roller Romero, he had a million subscribers, I mean, a million followers. So it only shows you that these guys, boxing is moving on, man. They're not waiting on guys to sit up here and put fantasy fights together. They've been saying it for years, man. All these young guys, even with Ryan Garcia, he said, I touch places that Canelo can't touch. And I touch places no fighter right now can touch. You know what I'm saying? Like, so a lot of these guys, they're building their own way. They're not really trying to um, rush and jump into certain things just because of a uh, it looks good on a resume or something like that. Like, it got to make sense. Turkey out of sheet throwing a lot of money around. Uh, you got Canelo asking for $200 million, something that Floyd Mayweather would do. That's why I tell people, hey, don't don't get around all these years, people. That's why I'm saying, bro. All these years, people have been trying to criticize certain boxers. But now we got the same boxers y'all been criticizing. Oh, Floyd just care about money. He just care about money. Nah, Flo now uh, Canelo is starting to care about money. Just all he cares about.
He don't care about nothing the fans think. And and the other fans just okay with it. And Oscar saying it. I mean, how many professional Hall of Famers, professionals, uh, referees, and uh, just promoters, how many people got to sit up here and co-sign certain things in boxing before the fans get it through their head? Like, bro, no matter what y'all say, it's not going to change the opinions of these professionals. We got Hall of Famers who think the same way as uh I do. I know it's I know it's people aren't used to um people being honest in criticism, but bro, Oscar said it, bro. Like quit quit throwing a boatload of money at me and Mungia and fight Benavidez if if you so concerned about somebody stealing money. You so concerned with me stealing money that you did business with me again and gave me a whole bunch of money. That's how much you don't want me to uh make no money. You don't want me to make no money with you, but for some reason, you ran over here and made a deal with us. Been trying to tell people, man, the talking, the talking, it's going on too much in Boston. It's time to start showing that you're the best. All that saying, I'm the best and I can do whatever I want, and you're only 33, 34, and you got guys like it's 36, 37, 38, Usyk, 37, just took the toughest fight in his career. Yeah, man, that's all I got, though. Like and subscribe.